Hi, how you doing? Good, I hope. Anyway, I've got a story to tell you. I think it's kind of funny. You might too. I was in Bellingham the other day, and it's a little uh, little place about 60 miles from where I live. So it's a little John and drive. I was up there to look at a truck. Uh, I didn't buy the truck, but I looked at it. Anyway, I left the residence, and on my way down the hill, in the middle of the road, was an iPhone. At least that's what I thought. So instead of driving over it and making iPhone cider, I stopped, put the parking brake on the steep hill, went and grabbed it. My intention was to return it to the owner. And I began my journey back to my home, for my back was sore. I'd been working a lot. Now, at the same time, the phone started ringing a loud, obnoxious tone. It was freaking me out. I knew it was the owner. I knew he wanted his phone back. Well, I did too. So, I was headed back south. I was going to go chuck in that drive for a change. Change of scenery. And what happened, I figured between where I found the phone in downtown Bellingham and chucking it drive, I would easily see a fire station, a police station, or possibly even a cop where I could return the phone. The phone kept ringing louder and louder. It was freaking me out. I didn't want to have anything to do with it, but I wanted to return it. Carol was screaming, throw the phone out the window. It was driving us nuts. The traffic was bad. The noise. I got on a side street. I can take it a little. I approached Fairhaven District where I saw an old, old library. A couple blocks north of the commercial district. I was relieved. I thought I would go in and turn the phone in. He would have a place to find it or she or whoever owned it. And the story would end. I walked up to the library. It was closed. I looked. I saw a drop box for library books. Should I leave it there, I thought? I asked a patron to the library who was waiting if he'd take care of it. He said no. I was dumbfounded. I wanted to get out of Bellingham. And uh, I didn't know what to do. There was only a few blocks left before chucking it drive. I was just about out of town when I saw a 76 gas station on the right side of the road. I said, I'll try that. So I stopped. I needed something, a beverage anyway. So I walked in and here a great, great, nice gentleman from India, I believe. I said, I found this iPhone. I don't know who it belongs to, but I'd like to return it. I couldn't find a cop or a fire station or anybody who would accept it. Could you possibly take care of it? And he said, oh yeah, oh, no problem. At that moment, the phone rang. I knew it was the owner, the gentleman from India. What he did was say, yes, we found your phone, and now we'd like to return it to you. And I heard the owner on the other end go, where are you? And the Indian at the 76 station said, by chucking a drive south end of Fairhaven. At this point, I could hear the gentleman who owned the phone scream, how did he get way out there? Well, I'll tell you how, you dumbass. You left it on top of your car and you drove off. You expect me to wait around for you? I had things to do, and that's what happened. Is that funny? You decide.